Hello, yummy lovers. I am in the yummy kitchen, and I am on the first episode of On the Menu. Today, we're gonna be making up something that's in my ebook that's gonna be dropping soon, and uh, it's all about fish. And this is for people who are looking to hit those protein goals in the right kind of way. So we have some tilapia. You can use any other kind of fish. You can use white snapper, red snapper as well. We have some onion, some blended tomatoes, some coconut cream, some ginger, salt, some garlic, chili flakes just for the heat, some black pepper, tomato paste, turmeric, garam masala, and some uh, vegetable stock. We're using a cube today so that we can cheat and make this magic be delicious. So, first things first, now that your fish is clean, cut up, we're gonna be patting it down dry in order to prep it right to fry it. Our fish is nice and dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and salt the fish. I'm using pink Himalayan salt for this. So I prefer using black peppercorns. I mean, just fine black pepper can deliver the same results. So we're gonna be taking our fish and we're gonna fry it skin side down first. As our onions are softening, we're gonna be adding in our garam masala, just some of it, about a teaspoon, so that the onions can cook with the spices. A pinch of salt. And I'm also gonna be adding in some chili flake, just for the kick of heat. Okay, as the spices cook, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the vegetable stock and add in about a cup hot water so it can be melting as we continue, sorry, to make the sauce. Now, as this sauce simmers, I have been asked or requested to share three fun facts about me. And as I've been cooking the sauce, I've really been racking my brain about three interesting facts. Hmm, let's start where? Um, we can start at the point where I'm an introvert. What? A lot of people may not know this, but um, I'm an introvert because everybody thinks just because I cook, I want to host you in my house. I actually don't. Another fun fact that people don't know about me is that I don't like people who leave comments of like, you know how you can take a cute picture somewhere and post it on the gram and someone is like, I know where that is. And you're like, no, no one asked you, boo. I didn't leave the tag for no reason. So mind your business. So our tomatoes have, you can tell they've reduced. So we're gonna be adding in a pinch of salt. Not too crazy because our vegetable stock has already a lot of salt as well has some salt, rather. We're just looking for the broth to add more flavor and to definitely give the sauce some body. Um, I personally am not a crazy fan of my stew being watery, so we're definitely gonna be keeping it on the thicker side of things. The ginger is like, hitting the spot so perfectly. Okay, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our fish. I usually like the skin side up. I think it looks very beautiful. So that's what essentially we're gonna do. I'm just gonna be adding in just a little bit of the veggie broth. So it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna be adding in the coconut cream. It's been about another three minutes uh, with the coconut cream, so we're just gonna take that out. And just like that, our little fish stew situation is ready to go and ready to be in our bellies. This is one of those meals that takes about 30 minutes. If you have somebody kind enough to help you with prep, it's probably gonna be less time than that. And I hope you do have someone to help you. I think cooking is such an amazing form of like, communal thing to do, so I suggest you cook with somebody. In the meantime, I suggest you check out this channel for more on the menu action. In the meantime, for me, Miss Mandy, it's peace, love, eat all things delicious. This is so good. Am I allowed to curse? Oh my god.